Hey guys, welcome back from Pixel Insane. This unexpected video to show you a solution that I found of a problem that I had for a very long time. So you're working on a project, you got your scene, your object and everything, and then you start rendering, 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 and then the rendering time gets longer and longer, like up to three minutes or something like that for a little simple still image. And that's insane. So I figured it out and instead of talking, uh, I'm just gonna show you. Let's jump into Blender. There we go. So this is my scene and that's the image that I was trying to render. Well, that I rendered already is on my website. So basically you got your stuff, your rendering settings and you think everything is fine. You know, you got your light path, max bounces because there is glass in it. And then the output, EXR, whatever, everything is fine, okay? So let's do a render and let's see how long it's gonna take. So embrace yourself and let's render. And we are back. Oh my gosh, that was a long render. I mean, check the time. 3.56 minutes. It's insane. And there is not much in the scene. There is a glass material, a gold material, a little simple object. It's not that much. And a background and a couple of lights. Actually, I can show you. Well, no, I can't. Haha. <laughs> well, yes, I can. There you go. This is the set and everything. But it's, you know, it's not that complicated whatsoever. So you're wondering, what's the solution then? Well, I'm gonna show you. The solution is opening a brand new instance of Blender, which I already have, and it's right here. Delete everything in it. Delete also the collection. Almost forgot before that. Make sure that everything is placed inside a collection. So we go back to the other one. I already saved the other file, so I'm gonna append the scene. I'm gonna find it and it should be this one right here. I'm gonna look for collection. It was models and set front. I'm gonna append it and we got the scene. I'm gonna click a zero to go to the camera view and I'm just gonna need to tweak a couple of settings just to make sure that the render looks the same. I'm gonna leave this one here. This was the one in the other file. So I already know because I remember it's my file. I remember that the exposure was minus two if I'm not mistaken. Uh, minus point minus 1.5 minus 1.5 and then the light path I remember those uh, full global illumination and now let's see the magic this is in real time there's no speed up and let's render it check this out I mean it's already rendering like a hundred times faster and it's crazy I mean how silly, how silly this thing is, I have no idea. Also, I already purged everything in the other scene, so there's no duplicates or anything, or extra materials, but the render is basically done. In only 22 seconds, 22 seconds, let's compare them. I mean, one, two, one, and two, is exactly the same result. Honestly, I'm blown away by this and that I found out though, I'm really happy. I hope you found this video helpful. I think it was like, to me, uh, uh, a discovery and all my renders now are like 10 times faster just because of the little issue that I need to figure out why though, because it's definitely something to do with cache or something inside Blender itself. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to watch this video in the cards somewhere and the playlist down. Uh, subscribe, like and comment down below if you found this video useful and remember to check the new material coming out this week and that's it pretty much so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one